Okay, so for a while now, I've been wanting to show the YouTube world something. Now, obviously, you see here is my front yard, but that's not what I wanted to show you. I want to show you what's underneath my front yard, an irrigation system that I put in by myself with no help last June, exactly a year ago, um, when we ripped out our rock garden and put grass in anyway, so I'll demonstrate the sprinkler system. I'll go turn it on now. Okay, so that is Station 1, the parkway. Um, that used to be the only grass in our front yard, so those were the only sprinklers we had. And those were installed July 4th, 2001. I was pretty young at the time, so that was with the help of my dad. And that's just two... I'll come over there. That is just two sprinklers centered in the front parkway there. Um, they're circle sprays. I'm not really happy with that. I like to have sprinklers around the perimeter instead, but it's good for now. I tied that in with the... That, that was right off the house faucet with a garden hose, and then just the piping for the sprinklers was in ground. Anyway, so... When I put the sprinkler system in, I tied that in with the other with the piping I put throughout the grass because this is a fully automatic system, so I wanted everything to be fully automatic. I'll be turning on the next zone, which is station two. Okay, and they'll be coming up any second now. Here they come. Oh no, it's the stupid mosquito killer truck. Anyway, so I got four sprinklers here, each putting out two and a half gallons per minute. You see the other one. Um, so that waters this area. I'll let you see this for a few minutes. So there's this sprinkler here. And I got a funny, well, it wasn't funny at the time, but I put these sprinklers in before the grass went down. And my dad put down some two by fours in the in the dirt to mark where the sod was going, and he drove he drove a wooden spike right through that right through that sprinkler line over there. He drove a wooden spike right through it. So I turned it on. These three sprinklers popped up, and then that one was just a big gush, just gushing out of the ground. And this is my neighbor's yard. Those are my neighbor's sprinklers there. I almost got hit. See? So, right here, he drove the wooden spike, and that broke the line. I was so mad. Oh my god. I was screaming, literally screaming, that I had to dig all that up and do it all over in that one spot. And I almost didn't have parts for it either. And now, I got a different thing to show you. I literally, just like 10 minutes ago, finished this up. The micro-irrigation for the garden area here. Um, 
I have eight sprinklers in right now. I have to put two more in, but we have to finish up the brick, the brick edging. I'll go turn those on. Everything's automated. And we do need... And even though we're in the Midwest, you, you'd think we get plenty of rain to keep everything green, but not over here. Because right under all this grass is sand. So all that water just runs right down through... right down through the grass. And usually July... Usually in July we'll go a whole month without a single drop of rain. At least it was that way last year. Not a single drop throughout all of July. But this new sod, this at the time new sod here was as green as could be. And so was our neighbor's grass. Everybody with a sprinkler system had green grass. Everyone without had dead grass. Anyway, so... I have... These actually are pop up. These pop up out of the ground. I have a little quarter inch tubes going to the manifold. All right, I'll turn this off, or I'll leave it on, and I'll show you the timer and the valve. Because I put a real system, and I didn't do anything off the. I didn't just put anything in off the uh, house faucet. Anyway, so here's the timer. It's a hunter timer. Pro C model um, to go with the Hunter PGJ sprinklers, and there's the timer. It's pretty easy to use, and here's the behind the scenes of the timer. I did all this wiring and stuff. Um, sprinkler wire, rain sensor wire, just goes up there, and then there's the rain sensor. And then the sprinkler wire comes out here beside the air conditioner. And here's the valve. So what I did, I have a one inch line PVC line coming off of the three quarter inch line coming off of that copper line right after the meter, if you can understand what I just said. So the line coming into our house is three quarter inch. Uh, this is one inch. We get tons of flow out of here, about 15 gallons per minute. So, yeah, and I set it up that um, at some point I'm going to put sprinklers in this whole backyard area, too. I already bought the sprinklers for it. I just need to be interested in doing it. I'll do it at some point. So, turn this off. I can run. And that's all for my sprinkler system.